Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover SAP interview question and this is part one. And these questions are real time. That means many consultants have faced this question. And one more thing which is important is that these questions are relevant for consultant who have experience of around two to four years, not more than that because these are very basic questions for the beginners. And the very first thing when you give SAP interview, never call it SAP interview because that will create a wrong impression. Always say SAP and they may ask what is the full form of SAP so you can tell there it is systems, applications and product in data processing. So that's how let's start this video. So the very first question is explain SAP. What is SAP? So the answer is very simple. SAP is a type of ERP and ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning, which helps in or to help to integrate all the sectors of any plant or company. Like there will be different sectors as mentioned here, finance and control. We call it FICO in SAP, material management, MM, sales and distribution, ST, then PM, plant maintenance, our own module, HR, human resource, quality, management, QM, ETC. So there is a integration of all these model and this will create an ERP. So enterprise resource planning. So it is a type of ERP, you can say it like that. And the full form as we have discussed earlier, it's systems, applications and product in data processing. Let's come to the second question, which is what are the different types of landscape or hardware, even they can ask you what are the different systems or servers in SAP. So to answer that first is development server or system. Here we do the functional consultant used to do all sort of configuration. Second is quality and it is used for testing. First is FUT functional unit test. Second is SIT system integration test and third is UAT that is user acceptance test. And the third is production that is used by the end user. So in the production, we as a functional consultant have no use. All the work has to be done by the end user. Third question is what are different phases of implementation in ASAP methodology? There are different methodology also other than ASAP. So that we will discuss in another video. So first of all, to answer that, the full form is accelerated SAP. And there are five different stages. First is project planning. So what all uh, people the team what they will be doing which is decided here second is bbp business blueprint that is a detailed part third is realization or configuration what we have discussed in the last part last uh, slide fourth is functional oh, sorry final preparation or cutover activities and lastly is go live here all the things has to be done and finally we will hand over the system to the user coming to the fourth question what documents are prepared in BBP step. So it is a continuation of the last video, uh, last question, last slide. So three different important document we have to prepare in this step. This is very important, very crucial step. First is as is document. So what is the actual process our client like if we are working in any company, for example, Infosys, TCS or Tech Mahindra and what our client, for example, Coal India demands. So what is the present process of Coal India? We will document in as is document. Next, to be document is there, second part. In this to be document, we will tell the our user, our client, that is Coal India, for example, in this case, that after installation of SAP, how your process will change, how you will document the process, how you will install all the parameters, all the measuring documents and everything. That will be done in, that we will, that we will tell the, the client so that is the second step and third is gap analysis document so the difference like as you can as you can understand uh, the present process and the process what we will provide after installation of sap to their system that will be installed in gap analysis next question they will ask is what are the master data you have worked upon since we are functional consultants so master data is very important so here is the list of all I would not say all master data, there are few more. So these are most important master data. First is work center, equipment, second functional location, third, fourth is class and characteristics. And likewise, you can see bill of material and the 
interviewer will also ask the T code relevant to all this master data. So guys prepare accordingly. Next question is what is the difference between work center and main work center? So this thing while creating equipment you might have noticed like in one tab you will find work center is mentioned and in the another tab you will find main work center. That too especially as I mentioned while creating equipment that is IE01. So coming to a solution, work center referred to equipment in the plant and the module is plant production module, PP module and main work center is basically referred or basically used in EM, PM module that is our module, maintenance module, plant maintenance and it is referred to the team, maintenance team or people. Okay, so that is the main difference. Coming to the sixth question, different formulas used while creation of PM work center or main work center. So, so total four formulas are being used and this is a very important question while creating the work center and those four formulas are in basic data tab there is a standard value key there we have to use SAP 0 in capacity tab we have to use capacity labor SAP 008 in scheduling tab we have to use SAP 004 and in costing tab we have to use SAP 008 so these are standard formula if the interviewer asks you you can directly say this thing next we will come to question number seven that is what is the maximum character used while creating functional location so to answer that it is very simple only 40 character we can use and question number eight is what is structure indicator in functional location so these are very important question structure in structure indicator so it is a combination of edit mask and x a n is what we use as an abbreviation x stand for you can use numeric or alphabetic bone then a only alphabetic can be used and n only numeric can be used and second is hierarchy so both edit mask and hierarchy has to be used hierarchy is one two three four so on so that is the priority and maximum we use till six hierarchy so that's how you can give answer to this question welcome to the next question so guys question number nine is what is equipment master or if you are in MA module they can ask you what is material master so let's come to our PM module so equipment master is very simple the creation of any equipment with the T code IE01 is called equipment master and in this equipment master we have to mention all the important tabs so the very first tab you will see while creating IE01 is general data here we have to mention object type acquisition detail like when we have purchased it, what was the price what date equip equipment dimension manufacturer data we have to mention second tab is location here maintenance plant plant section and see work center I have mentioned in black color so this belongs to PP module that we can enter if required if not we can skip it ABC indicator and sort field next is organization here we have to mention cost center planner group work center and catalog profile is there and finally main work center so here you can see the difference work center in PP and main work center for PM and lastly is a structure tab here we have to mention functional location when it was installed and other parameters like uh, superior functional location and all such things so these are some basic important question hopefully it was useful for you as a beginner and if you want more content like this kindly drop a like and drop a comment if there is something uh, you need and thank you so much for watching guys